in this video, and not doing an impression of Hubnut at all, we're looking at Henrietta, the Rover 75, and uh, more importantly, the uh, fix on the uh, on the wheel arch. So uh, let's get to it. A Hubstock Hubnut uh, merch available in the store. <laughs> As you can see, we've got the world's uh, best masking up um, ever. Um, oh, that's, uh, there we go. World's best masking up ever. Um, we just need to make sure this doesn't get any paint on. Next step is to panel wipe this bit down um, and then primer it up. And I've got some uh, filler primer, so we should use that. So what you eagle-eyed amongst you might have uh, noticed there is that I once again definitely didn't forget about the front bit that I'm filling and, and painting as well. So what you don't see me doing is backtracking now and doing it and doing it uh, now. So I need to mask this bit off and then not forget to paint it because that would be very silly. Let's see if this trick works. If I'll do that, I'll do that afterwards. Right, now I need to go and fetch a bag. Now my preferred material for masking off uh, is a Tesco carrier bag. Um, I find it good value and convenient. Uh, there are other supermarket bags available that you can use for this. Um, but some of them might not, might, might not be quite up to the quality you're expecting. Uh, obviously there are higher quality uh, supermarket bags you can use as well. Uh, but they might not be as convenient, so it's kind of up to yourself which, which way you want to go with that, to be honest.
delicate business. So there we go, we've masked that up as ineffectively as possible. Um, and then, let's try this trick. So apparently if you get masking tape and roll it back on itself to create like a round, roundish edge, um, it helps you to stop getting uh, masking marks. I don't know how you're supposed to do that. It's like rolling a sticky Rizzler. Makes more sense. Stick party on car first. Well, if it helps, it helps. If it doesn't, it doesn't, doesn't it? Right, panel wipe. Here we go into the scary bit. <coughs> uh, put in the first, come on, plant, shift that out, there. Put in the first bit of like the primer on. fly on it. So we'll let that go off, put another few coats on it, then rub it back and see where we are.
this painting malarkey. Uh, but yeah, it's good doing it yourself, but it's going to take ages, isn't it? And I'm hoping it doesn't rain later because, I mean, it looks nice and sunny now, so it should be alright. But yeah, I think I'm going to have to build up the primer, let that. <laughs> says you've got to leave it like 24 hours Ugh. fill up the primer today let it dry is it to Monday tomorrow hopefully it's not raining flatten it back and then start putting color on it and try and blend it in which I think is going to be the hardest bit because I think I masked up masked off a too big an area should have masked off a smaller area Ah oh, well, we live and learn, don't we? Uh, so, so hopefully I'll I'll start this again tomorrow when we're rubbing the primer bit down and uh, and starting on the silver bit, and then once that bit's done, clear coat's sort of easiest. But uh, so yeah, fingers crossed, fingers crossed. <laughs>